This video is sponsored by Keen. Link is in the description box below and I may receive money from Keen when people use this link. Keen provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors who provide guidance and insight on life challenges, clarity in love, relationships, career, and more. Keen advisors are available 24-7. There's always someone online. You can also easily schedule a call with an advisor. As a new Keen customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Keen is the most affordable way to meet new advisors. Click on the link trykeen.com slash chelsealove if you are interested to try it out. Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. And today is the 2nd of July, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 11.08 a.m. All right, Leo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Leos need to hear right now. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and your person in the past, currently, or in the future. Two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we've got the nine of swords in reverse, eight of cups. Queen of Wands, this is your energy, so I love it because it's in an upright position. I see for a lot of you, Leo, you may have decided, Eight of Cups, walk away. To walk away from anything, anything that doesn't serve your highest good anymore. Walk away from some of you. Some of you is walking away from a third party situation or walk away from a long distance connection. Um, hmm. And the Emperor in reverse, walking away from people who don't appreciate you, people who have taken you for granted, abused, abused their power over you, over the situation. Ju judgment here is in reverse, three of cups. Hmm. I feel like at least like 60% of you, Leo, you're walking away from a third party situation. Okay, 60% of you. Another 40% of you, maybe it's a mixture of... Again, either a long-distance relationship or somebody who just doesn't appreciate you, doesn't value you. And judgment here in my first and three of cups. It could also go vice versa. There could be someone who is longing to reconcile with you after you have walked away from them. And the judgment was kind of like maybe this person is thinking about maybe they've made a wrong judgment call so i'm not cups second guessing themselves so it could be you again it could go vice versa because ten of pentacles here is a love first definitely an energy of what if we would have stayed together would it turn into a ten of pentacles could it potentially be a connection um that is long lasting so a lot of doubts surrounding that energy about the future the possibilities could be you or this person. Queen of Wands, but would it be in an upright position? I would say that right now or in the near future, you're going to be very attractive to a lot of people, okay? Because Seven of Cups also can indicate you having a lot of options. Some of you could also be wondering, should I focus on one relationship to build a relationship or should I, Three of Cups here, just have fun? It's your choice, but it feels like you, if you are single or you're currently in an unhappy connection, you could be thinking about that, okay? Unless it's the other person, whoever could be dealing with, wondering if they should just have fun or settle down, ten of pentacles with you, take your connection to the next level. Let's see more. Oh yeah, bear in mind, uh, Leo, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, <laughs> um, pretty sure you saw the Keen app that I placed in the beginning of this video. For those of you 
who would like to get a consultation, psychic consultation, you can click on that link in my description box below, okay? It's, I believe it says trykeen.com slash Chelsea Love. It's only $1.99, super, super cheap, super affordable. <laughs> don't like to use the word cheap. Super affordable. Yeah, it's like 10, uh, for your first 10 minutes, it's only $1.99. So very, very affordable. And But you can still book a personal reading with me if you want to. But it's, you know, a little bit more uh, pricey. And also the turnaround time will be a bit longer because I'm really busy. And in terms of live streams, I have been doing it lately but i'm gonna give it a little break because it's very energy draining every time when i'm done with a live stream i get i get so tired i'll sleep like for 10 hours straight so i'm gonna give that a break so in the meantime for those of you who need help any sorts of consultation psychic consultation tarot consultation um yeah there are options okay one of it is keen so you can click on the description box below i mean the link is in the description box below okay anyway uh let's get back to your reading nine of cups two swords here definitely indicates a decision that you have to make see look at the nine of cups here so maybe you could be wondering should i just be single and have fun you know because the queen of wands it's like a very driven energy but also somebody who's very passionate and perhaps for a lot of you leo you're very good looking you have a lot of options you could be thinking hey you know why should i settle down unless you're dealing with another sign uh, somebody somebody who could be thinking that way you should know where you stand in this storyline if you ha currently have somebody and if roles are being reversed here it could be that person wondering you know uh, i'm good looking why should i settle down right now this moment should i should i not so it's gonna take some time before this person decides if they want to take the connection to the next level again it could go vice versa yeah so we've got this strength here and then we've got the three swords yeah possibly holding back because afraid to get hurt not a swords but there's also an energy of needing to act fast needing to act quickly but for some of you, it's this energy like maybe I should settle down or it could be you could be asking someone to settle down or somebody could be asking you to settle down if you're currently connected to someone. But there's this energy of like, but I don't want to yet or not just, you know, settling down in different for some of you settling down. is like getting into a relationship or moving in together or it could be marriage, right? But there is also this energy with the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, the Emperor and Mother, First Judgment, Reverse Seven of Cups. Could be someone that you're upset with, or they may be upset with you. But also this second guessing energy. Like, did I say the wrong thing? Should I have said that? Should I have said this? This the judgment here, Mother First. Did I make the wrong judgment call? So someone could be pondering that about you, or you could be pondering that about somebody. Leo, this is you, strength in a bright position. So that's good. And we've got the Queen of Cups right here. I still feel like Leo, like a lot of you, like could be thinking, you know, maybe I should just be patient. Let me do my own thing. I'm not that ready yet to to commit. Seven of Wands and Reverse, basically just like either giving up on love or just not fighting for love currently three of wands but maybe could be open to the future if there's somebody who comes in but you know i feel like leo a lot of you are gonna be or currently thinking that whoever comes into my life this person has got to be worth it if not i'm just gonna be single i'd rather be single nine of cups here that's what it's saying and the queen of cups Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Some of you may have two options here, right? Doesn't matter he or she, not gender specific. Another fire sign or another uh, water sign here because two swords can indicate options. Three of cups, three of wands also can indicate that. For those of you in a third party situation, Leo, hmm, 
Yeah, I see you're walking away from a third party situation. Unless you're the one putting someone in a third party situation, that person could be kind of thinking about releasing themselves from being being put in a third party situation. Then it could go vice versa. I'm gonna pull up a few of these romance angels here. I just saw 0909, check out your angel number if you want to. We've got let go of control issues. And we've got past life relationship. Calling in your soulmate, playfulness. See? Some of you just want to play right now, just have fun through cups. Unless it's someone you're connected to and they just want to play and have fun for now because they're not ready for a commitment. Right? Calling in your soulmate. Spirits could be saying that could be a soulmate. Oh, this connection could be a soulmate connection or um, maybe there's someone coming into your life, right? Where you have a past life relationship with. Let go of control issues. Spirits could be saying to let go of control issues because of the strength here. For those of you... Um, it doesn't feel like... Because the emperor also is in one first. Maybe you're actually dealing with someone very controlling. Someone in your past was very controlling. Unless it's you, if this is you, then, you know, maybe that could be an issue within the connection in the past or currently, okay? Uh, Leo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And don't forget, try Keen if you want to. The link is in the description box below. You can click on that link. It's, it will take you straight to their website, trykeen.com slash Chelsea Love is my link, all right? Uh, my link to the keen website if you want a psychic consultation all right take care leo hope to see you back here again sooner than later bye